in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a professional website from scratch and we are not going to spend more than ten dollars on this website creation process which means for less than ten dollars you will have a professional website just like this and to be honest this is the same method i used to create my own successful blog and you can see this website preversion.com which is a health blog i'm the owner of this website and it's already monetized and the startup cost for this website is 28 dollars but in this video we are not going to spend up to 10 dollars if you follow my step gradually and at the end you will get a professional website just like this so make sure you watch to the very end of this video because you are going to benefit a lot and before we proceed to the video if you are finding it difficult to understand any part of this video you just have to let me know on the comment section below and within 24 hours you'll get a positive response but if you want a quick response you just have to send me those questions on twitter for the best and most effective way we can be communicating so with that being said please make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more free informative content like this and since everything is organized this video will be divided into sections for easy accessibility so you just have to use the video timestamp below so with that being said before you will need a blog to be active you will need something that is called web hosting so basically web hosting is a server or a storage providing platform that holds all your blog and website content so that your website can be accessible publicly and two key points to know is that when you want to choose a web hosting company you should consider either a vps server where you have total access to your own server for full and better performance or a shared hosting method where your website will be shared with another website on the same server and this shared hosting include bluehost nameship and godaddy and this is what most bloggers use but for the sake of my work and this video i will be using a vps server and i think it is the best because you have access and full control to your own server but remember you can still use shared hosting like bluehost nameship and go daddy which you can also find the links on the video description below so from one of the best vps server i'll be using digital ocean so despite the fact that digital ocean is one of the best vps server you can actually start using this server for two months free and you will get a 200 dollar credit which is free and with this 200 dollars you don't need to perform any financial transaction for the next two months so all you just need to do is to create an account on this platform then try to test things out if it work out for you then you start using it for your business and within that period of you testing things out you'll not be making any payments on this platform you'll be using this 200 dollars that is given to you for free so make sure you use the link below to get started on this platform so the next thing to do after you sign up is to come to your dashboard and from your dashboard you just have to navigate to this option that says create then click on it and click on this icon that says droplet then you will be able to create a server so after loading up you'll be able to see this option that says create droplet and droplet is a virtual machine that anyone can set up in seconds so now the next thing to do is to select your region either new york or london so i'm just going to select london then scroll down and when you scroll down you'll be able to see this option that says choose an image so when you look closely you'll be able to see that os marketplace and custom image and on the os tab you'll be able to see umbutu fedora debian centios so all you just need to do is to click on marketplace then wait for it to load up and on this marketplace you just need to search for wordpress because we want to create a wordpress website so you'll be able to see this option that says wordpress and you can see blog and forum so you click on it then you just have to scroll down now when you scroll down you'll be able to see this droplet type so you just have to leave it on basic then scroll down and on this section you'll be able to see this gpu option so make sure it is on basic then on this basic option you, you can select between six dollar a month or twelve dollar a month so since i want to create a standard professional website i'm going to go for this twelve dollars per month and remember we are not making any payment we'll be using our credit to pay for now so on that note you just have to select the one that best suits you and always remember that when selecting this plan after you exhaust your 200 dollar credit you will need to pay to renew these plans so make sure you know the best plan that you can afford to run in the future so with that being said you just have to select the one that suits you best then you scroll down to this password section and you'll be able to see this option that says enter a password so you just need to enter a password by which you will use to access your account and make sure that it complies with all these password requirements then after inputting your password you just have to click on this icon that says create doublet so you just have to wait for it to load up and you can see that our server is being created 
Now, after waiting for a few seconds, you can see that our server is successfully created and WordPress is already installed. And another cool thing about this digital ocean is that you don't need to install any software or configure any projects. So now, since your server is successfully created, the next thing to do is to buy a domain by which you will use to access your website. So for beginner, a domain name is an address to your website that people can just type on this search tab, then search for your website. And there are many companies you can buy domain name from. For example, for as low as $5, you can get a professional domain from GoDaddy. Or you can also get that domain from Nameship for $9. So I'm just going to buy from GoDaddy. Now, before I click on this option that says I'm ready to pay, you'll be able to see this option that says full domain protection. So for us to be on the safer side, you just have to click on get it to include this domain protection so that our domain will be secured and you can see that everything we are spending is 14.82 dollars which is not up to 15 dollars but remember this domain protection is optional so you can decide to leave it then click on i'm ready to pay you just have to wait for it to load up and you can see that our payment is successful that means we have successfully bought a domain and you can see that thank you for your order we have emailed your receipt to your email address which is my email address then i just got to click on continue now since you have known how to buy ship domain the next thing to do is to configure our vps to our domain name we just bought and when you look closely you'll be able to see your ip address so you just have to navigate to this copy section then copy the ip address then log into your GoDaddy account, then scroll down and you'll be able to see this option that says DNS. So you just got to click on DNS and you can see all your DNS records. So the first one is the one you are going to edit. So you just got to navigate on edit and make sure it is on the first one, which is A. So you just got to click on edit and on this section, you paste your IP address that you copied from your digital ocean then after pasting it you make sure it is one hour then click on save then automatically you just have to wait for it to load up and you can see that it says that updating dns records so then after that you'll be able to see your vps ip address on your godati account so all you just need to do is to wait for some minutes for the mapping to be successful now since the mapping is done successfully the next thing to do is to configure wordpress on this your server so that the block will look like this now when i go to my new created website which is the domain when i click on make money down.com you'll be able to see that it's not even opening because the website has not been hosted yet so now for you to complete the setup of your professional website you just have to come to your vps and click on it and you'll be able to see this option that says console so you just have to click on it and wait for it to load up you'll be able to see this terminal will display out so you just have to give it time for it to connect to your wps so after it loads up you just have to pay close attention on this section because it can be tricky now your terminal and your vps server will be connected automatically so on this section you will see this option that says domain and subdomain so we just got to type in our domain then click on enter then you'll be able to see this your email address option so you just have to input your email address then after that make sure it is correct then click on enter then you'll be able to see your username so you just have to type in let me just say admin then click on enter then you will see your password remember this section is for your wordpress you understand so you just have to type in any password that you like so after typing your password you just got to click on enter then you will see this option that says block title so you just have to type in your website title you understand make money down then click on enter now pay close attention to this option that says you would like to use the end encrypt to configure your sl which is your security of your website you understand so all you just need to do is to type in yes because you want your website to be secure then click on enter then you just have to wait for it to load up then you'll be able to see that you need to enter your email address again that you use you understand so you just got to type in your email address again make sure it is correct you understand then click on enter 
then you just have to wait for it to load up and you can see this option that says the attempts of condition so you just have to click on a to agree so i type in a then proceed you just have to see this option that says will you be willing to share your email address with ellie so you can decide to say yes or no so for my own case i'll just say yes then you'll be able to see this option that says which name would you like to activate for http you will see this option that says make money down dot com or www.makemoneydown.com so all you just need to do is to type in the make money down.com which is your official one excluded in www dot you understand so you just have to type in one then press enter then you just have to give it some time to load up you understand it's verifying cleaning up challenges so you just have to give it some time so this last option basically means that when people come to a website you need to redirect them to a safe browser which is the https so you just got to click on to which is redirect then click to and press enter then you just have to wait for it to load up and you'll be able to see that completing the configuration process so you just have to wait and you can see that it's successful and you can see that your installation to your wordpress is completely done so as the instruction is given here you can see that assess your new wordpress site in a browser to continue so when i come to search for my website which is make money down you just have to wait for it to load and you can see that my website is already created and you can see the demo content and another thing to note is that this website is secure you understand everything is secure and you can see that make money down and you can see this hello world so this is just the home page so the next thing to do is to configure this your website to look more professional and for you to do that as the instruction is given you need to log into your wordpress account so you just got to put slash wp admin dash admin then press enter then on this section you just have to log in with the details you set up on the terminal so the username is admin and i just have to impute my password then click on remember me and click on login so i just got to wait for it to load up and you can see that i've successfully logged into my make money down official dashboard and you can see make money down so this is just the back end of this my make money down website so with this few mini tutorial video you have known how to create a professional website without going through cpanel and remember that the only money we spend is for this domain registration and buying so now after you successfully create your website you just have to assess it and the next thing to do is to configure the website to look more professional like this and for you to do this you will need to install teams and the team you are installing hold and organize all the content on your website but remember since the team carries out all the functionality of your website you will need to choose a good team that look more professional so for you to add team to your website that you successfully created you just have to come to your wordpress account and you will be able to see this option that says appearance then you click on it then wait for it to load up and you can see team you understand so you just got to click on this team that says add new and on this option you can search for team but the team i'm going to search for is Niv and this team is one of the best team out there so i just got to click on install then you can see that it's already installed so i just got to click on activate then automatically everything about this team will reflect on my website so after i successfully install the nif team you'll be able to see this option that says nif is now installed and ready to be used so you can just click on this try one of our ready to use tata website then you'll be able to see different teams from this nif so you just have to select the best pre-installed team so let me just view this first one so upon view you can just import it and automatically it will reflect on your website so you just have to confirm the section by which you want on the site so i'm just going to click on i'm just going to click on this then click on import entire site then you just have to give it some time and you can see that everything is set up so you can just go to your website so this, this is just how the website look like so when i refresh You'll be able to see some content on the website so you can see that make money down so this is just how the website is and automatically we have created a successful 
blog but always remember to edit all the information on this section and another crucial thing is that when you come to my website you'll be able to see that i have a about us page i have contact page i have terms and condition so make sure that you create terms and condition on your own website so for you to do that you just have to come to your own website and click on pages then on this section you'll be able to create a about us page contact us page then you'll be able to create home page and everything so if you want me to make a detailed video on how to use this wordpress to edit professional website you just have to let me know in the comment section below and make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more free informative content like this so as you might already know i'm dmo so thank you for watching and see you on my next video